Yeah, great comment about keeping the audience engaged. And the, one of the best ways on a Zoom thing is you be looking at the light. Look to the light. <laughs> now let's talk about the few things I also want to reemphasize. By the way, that I just did, that was a transition statement. We've done this, now let's do this. And by saying it out loud, your minds began to organize knowing what we were doing. I hope I model some of this stuff. So whatever works for you, see if you can raise the appeal that way. When some of you guys were speaking, you did a great job of not only modulating your voice when you added, especially most of you when you added dialogue where the character said something in the stories, um, or, or in your personal experience stories, you began to get more animated with your voice. So match your vocal delivery with your non-vocal cues. I saw a couple of students playing with some wires and that's distracting. So be aware of your nonverbal cues. I saw a few messing with their hair or being uncomfortable um, or even looking down to read and, and that is a distraction. Remember, when you're presenting, it's all about the audience. So you got to connect with them. And even I have a hard time remembering, I've got to look to the light. Animate your facial expressions appropriately. And I see you guys do it. Since we're on Zoom and we're so close up, even minor expressions, when you do a little sideways smile or you like roll your eyes or you look up to the ceiling, um, it, that's very appropriate and it enhances the telling. Remember to main, maintain eye contact. Try, if you're not a natural hand talker like Morphew, I use my hands when I speak. You know people like that, <laughs> right? Um, if you're not a natural one, I want you to plan three places where you're going to do a hand gesture. Somebody did that in the storytelling yesterday where it was obvious they had intentionally planned a hand gesture and I was like, yes, thank you. Remember to do that. You need to be expressive for your speeches. When you're in person, your body will be a bigger tool that you can use to connect that message. Be aware of your posture. I like to sit up straight, but then we get going for three hours on video. I'll do this and lay back. When you are the speaker, be aware of your posture. If you're intentionally doing something to care, you know, act like you're a character, that's one thing. But um, if you look disconnected, we may be disconnected. For you science people, all you people that are in the medical stuff, I put this. This is your vocal muscles, your vocal area there. Uh, with everything labeled, the air you put in, the, the air you put out, the intensity you add to your voice, you know, speaking from the diaphragm, and I'm holding underneath my, like at the bottom of your, uh, it's a big muscle right underneath the bottom of your rib cage area, controls your, your uh, pacing, whether you use a good pause, you control that all right here and down here in your diaphragm. It will intensify the tone or make it more gentle. You can increase your speed. And, and I really, uh, we have at least one person that needs to be very clear and distinct. That means that some of your words need to be a little more crisp so that you'll be understood. One of the best tools that you guys have as a speaker is pause, the power of stopping and allowing the words to get processed in your listeners' minds. So remember the power of pause, okay? It's gonna engage your listeners. Your voice matters. Do you project authority and act like you know what you're talking about? Are you too loud? I can be accused of that at times. All of you did fine as far as your volume being too soft. I did notice that a couple of students get quieter at the end of your sentences. And those who are knowledgeable about speech call that dropping your sentence. You want to make sure that all of your words are heard. The only time I've heard monotone in here is when people were actually reading to us 
and it seemed like their pacing and their voice never changed. They didn't add dialogue that had a good vocal control for different characters. So just be aware of that. Again, you guys are going to be fine, but it is it, if you notice that you get comments about that, then you may want to make it a, an intentional practice to improve that. Use of pause is the first great tool for that. And then see if there's any area where you can emphasize your voice or reduce the emphasis, right? Um, couple were too fast, but that was all about reading to us. So is your rate of speech comfortable? I was impressed on this telling that there were less um, you know, I mean, and like. Some of you used a lot of that in your PES, and then you did a so much better job. I didn't hear that in the storytellings. Those are called vocal fillers or disfluencies that can impact your, the communication of your message. I've already talked about intentional gestures. You want to use those. Look how simple you could, simply you could add a gesture or two. See how these hands are? You can enumerate things by touching your, you know, if you're counting off one, two, three, that's always a great place. Did you guys watch Vanessa Van Edwards' Seven Hand Gestures? Her homework one night, yeah? Did you catch that point about counting? Every time you count, you can hold up numbers or you can count them off. To, and you watched the guys that were so funny about the Stanford graduates, the chop, the gift, and what was the last one? Chop was last. Oh, he, he touched his chest. Um, so anytime there's emotional, even Vanessa Van Edwards said, you can just gesture by holding near your heart. And that says, this is important to me. <laughs> so gestures are easy. Let's use them, even if we're on Zoom. Any comments? Okay. You close with some strong line and then Megan, you just wrote in a note that now you know what to do to fix it. Don't forget, revision is not a four-letter word. That's a Morphe quote. I'm going to put on a t-shirt someday and copyright. I've been saying it for years. Revision is not a bad thing. With practice, we can always enhance delivery.